once again. Nothing there. All the small kind of caught there. You can see definitely the lead core. All right. So what I wanted to show you was the actual way to construct uh, these plates. It's a fairly simple process, and it's basically using the construction adhesive, um, you know, placing an even uh, quantity of it across the actual fabric uh, where the uh, tile is going to be laid down. And you're going to want to do this kind of methodically, as you're going to have one large piece of fabric to work with, uh, and then you're going to be placing the tile in the center of that, uh, and basically pressing it down uh, tightly against the surface of that fabric, uh, and construction adhesive, and then wrapping the uh, subsequent layers of fabric kind of around it uh, and just kind of folding it on top of each other. Now what that one layer of fabric is going to turn into is you know, one layer in front of the tile and eight layers behind it. And so what that does is uh, the front layer is going to have the ability to capture any spall kind of ejecting out diagonally from uh, the impact zone of the bullet and the um, back layers are going to be what is kind of capturing uh, the energy of the the remaining energy of the bolt after it impacts the tile. So, you know, this is probably the uh, simplest uh, method to construct a plate, and it's just not limited to, you know, the 6 inch by 6 inch size. You can go ahead and transfer this exact same construction method to, let's say, a 12 by 12 tile or, you know, a tent, you cut that tile down to 10 inches by 12 inches, kind of for like a shooter's cut uh, for kind of like a front armor plate or the rear armor plate. Uh, now this, uh, it's basically very important that you use kind of the correct amount of uh, construction adhesive uh, per the quantity of fabric that you're using. Uh, so, you know, basic uh, rule basically will say that you know, for this, you're probably going to want to use somewhere around um, the uh, almost around a full tube per, you know, six, six inch by six inch um, size. So um, that'll kind of give you a little bit of an idea of how much that uh, construction adhesive I'm using. But basically you want to just ensure that you impregnate all the layers of denim there so that way you know that the on um, each kind of strand or of fabric there of the denim kind of has a layer of that construction adhesive on it and that's going to greatly increase its um, material um, strengths so uh, anyway so uh, this is a pretty simple method that we've been using uh, kind of um, it's much more simple than the other methods we're using uh, you know I definitely you know I'd say you know put a strip of the galvanized sheet metal uh, in there you know uh, and it doesn't, you know, cost much, and it's not much weight. And it, uh, in my opinion, I think it adds a lot to it. Um, but this is probably the bare minimum of what you can do. And uh, in these tests that we're going to show you is that uh, this simple plate design right here is capable of taking at least, you know, one round. Uh, as long as it hits the tile, uh, you know, it can take that one round. Um, and if you have subsequent rounds that if they don't impact too close to the initial impact area, uh, you know, it can take more than one round. Now, uh, for kind of the purposes of keeping this video short, I'm only going to show the um, the one round impact. Um, but uh, I do have uh, some videos of the testing it kind of towards to failure, and so I kind of placed still a couple more rounds in there. But basically, these plates, uh, as long as they don't um, take a hit in like the same spot or right on the edges, these plates can uh, take a you know a couple hits and uh, still keep on ticking. So. Anyways, um, I thought this the video will basically do a good job of demonstrating on what, you know, how, what the sim most simplest design is uh, for one of these uh, bulletproof plates, and uh, you know how to make it at home. Uh, so, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them down below in the comment section, and uh, don't forget to uh, hit like and uh, subscribe to this if uh, you kind of find this interesting. And you want to know more about how to do this, so. Anyways, uh, thanks again, and uh, you know, watch the test and kind of see how uh, these things turned out. First up on the testing block is the single wrap tile plate. Let's see how it does. All right, first up is going to be we're going to put a round of 124 grain plus P HSTs uh, into this. It's a nice hot load, um, and we're going to be striking the uh, eight layer rear, one layer front. Uh, PI5 ceramic tile uh, with the uh, Loctite construction adhesive at 5 yards. Okay. 
All right, that's a good hit. Let's check it out. See a slight bulge there in the back. Here you can see the, once again, nothing there. All the spall kind of caught there. You can see definitely the lead core inside of there. You can see the back face deformation here. in at about seven eighths of an inch. So there you go. Basically I'll bring the ruler up here. You can see from the inside of that coming out. You know it's almost a full inch but about seven eighths deformation on that. The second test is going to add a little bit of factor of safety to it and uh, prove to you it will be a little more effective. Uh, once again, we're going to be firing the uh, 124 grain plus P uh, HSTs at our PI5 double wrapped plate. So it has 16 layers behind it, two layers in front. So let's go ahead and check that out uh, and then we'll uh, measure the back face deformation on one shot. Good shot, so let's check it out here. Alright, so that's there's always there's no bulge on the back of this. And there is just very little back face deformation. I mean the depth of this one is pretty minimal. Less than half an inch, so about half an inch on that one. Right there, yeah. less than half an inch. And then if you look at the plate, you know, no pass through, and it easily captured the round inside of there. So let's go ahead and shoot us.